Hey, sixth grade, it's 10 11 2 practice page video help. You're going to have a pie chart that will have some percents. It will also tell you how much the 100% equals. So that's up here in these words. The pie chart shows how Laura spends her monthly income of $4,000 on different household expenses. So everything in here, if you change it into money, would equal $4,000. That's a pretty good household income. Question number one, how much money does Laura spend on groceries each month? So here's our groceries, or here's her groceries, and that's 25%. So we're going to say 25% of 4,000. And if we're putting that in our calculator, that's zero and 25 hundredths times 4,000. Again, we're going to multiply by this decimal that's less than one because she has to spend less than $4,000 on her groceries. Here we go. Zero and 25 times 4,000 is $1,000. She spends 1,000 on groceries. Crazy eye there. All right, I'm going to actually write that in, $1,000. Okay. How much does she spend on dining out? So dining out is here. So that's 20%. She's still got the same amount of total money. So now it's 20% of 4,000. That's the same as 0 0.2, but you can put in the zero if you want to, times 4,000. Here we go. 0 0.2 times 4,800. Wowza! $800 on dining out. That's a lot of money. Laura spends most of her money on, well, without even figuring out the exact amount of money, we can see that rent is 30%, and that's the biggest percent. So I don't know how much money it is yet, but I know that it's going to be the most on rent. Then it says, what fraction of her income does Laura spend on other things? Let's see, is that a category? Yep, there it is, other things. So that's right here, other. So that's 10%. So 10% equals... 10 over 100, and you know that we need to simplify. So the common factor, the greatest common factor is 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 100 divided by 10 is 10. So she spends 1 tenth of her income. The last thing that I want to talk about before I say you need to finish is number 7. How much does Laura spend on rent and entertainment? That means you have to put those two sections together, those two sectors. Let's go back and look at it. Rent and entertainment. So we're looking at, let me highlight them green for you, this and this together. So rent is 30%, entertainment is 15%. That was 30% plus 15%. So you can find them out separately, or you can add them together and find 45% of her income. Don't forget to check your answers by the door, and also don't forget that there is a backside to this sheet as well.